Guess what day it is? Wednesday? No, it is, it's Thoughts TV Thursday, if you're listening tomorrow. Oh. Which is... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I'm trying to make it a thing. I've been trying to make it a thing for a year. Thoughts TV Thursday. Mm. Thoughty Thursday. Thoughty. <laughs> uh. <laughs> That's something else. Yes, as we really, we were on Google Trends and looking at our searches and it came up with also like Porn Christian searches. Mingle thoughts. Christian Mingle was very funny. <laughs> yes, Christian Mingle. Is that a, an app? It's it's a dating app for Christians. Please let us know if any of you guys have been searching Christian Mingle. Thanks. So it's our one year anniversary. I know. Can you believe it? I can't believe it. Although it's it's a year anniversary of the first episode going out. We did record the first episode in July. Yeah, and then so released the, it in January. Yeah, yeah, it was a long turnaround for that. Well, <laughs> this I was is why teaching myself how to use technology. <laughs> so this is why in my head you guys started so much longer ago than January. And I'm well, that's because right. we did. <laughs> okay, yeah. yeah. And to celebrate the occasion, what we're going to do is I've put together some of the best moments over the last two series. Yeah. Well, you say best moments. According to me. Well, all, all the best bits are from the episode you're not in. <laughs> I, I was like, I was, I'm actually really curious to listen through it and like count how how many of each of us it is. So who else he thinks is the bestest? Well, obviously you two appear more than Arthur and Jasmine do, but they do I get a look in. I fucking hope so. Well, yeah, you do. <laughs> Elsie was going through like the outcuts and stuff the other day and so much of the outcuts is me. <laughs> and Elsie was like, unfortunately, Meg, you have the most anecdotes, so you're cut out the most. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I keep it all. I do. I do keep it all. And I've listened to all of it in the last day. And then if you listen to the end of The Best Bits... We have got some unheard bonus content for you, and I've actually got a content. We've all got a content warning for the unheard bits. It's about uh, what's it about? Piss, shit, and vomit. We we went on a what twenty minute tangent about vomit. Yeah, we did the other day. So if you're not uh, comfortable with that, maybe yeah. maybe don't listen. Honestly, if you're not comfortable with that, never live with me. <laughs> Laura's just very sicky, which is yeah. what we found out. Anyway, um, I'm not going to give you a time code to skip the best bits because I've not edited it yet. But um, if you just want to listen to the bonus content, that is the second half of this anniversary episode. Thank you for a lovely year, you two. Enjoy! And don't forget, if you would like to take part in Bamzuki, then you can do. You can always log onto the website and design your very own Zook. All the software is there to download at bbc.co.uk forward slash cbbc and click on Bamzuki. We'll see you next time. Say goodbye, Rich. Goodbye. See ya. Two more teams take the Bamzuki challenge right now. I was actually going to start off this episode by talking about the history of how the show got made, which is actually really interesting, but I guess we're straight into, into it. <laughs> yeah, you can still do the history. No, I will do. I'm just. I'll, I'll get. I'll get to it later. Um, there was. Have you broken? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I just. I just she, froze. <laughs> you, she just froze, staring into the middle distance with her mouth open, and she was blinking like twice at a time. You were like. You were like. What would you have done if, like, the like dial-up tone started coming out of my mouth? <laughs> <laughs> I would have shat. <laughs> yeah, the glossy girls had a zook called Mrs. Pop, and she was so scary. <laughs> yeah, <I really laughs> like, like, spiky. <laughs> like, the zooks are basically bugs because the or easiest like yeah because the easiest thing to do is have like a body with legs coming off like if you were to recreate some sort of mammal on that software it would just be really difficult yeah because like the now easiest and again, shape to make is a bug now and again they give a go at doing like an, a no-legged one like yeah. a, like a wiggly one and it's yeah. shit every time and yeah, i don't yeah, know yeah. why they bother it makes me so angry there yeah, was a team like... that was really good i can't remember who they were but they had a I had, they had one called Steps, which is basically like a boy at a disco doing the worm. It's and it was tr- like, what do you expect it to do? You know when um, 
You know when you watch The Apprentice and you get angry at the contestants because mm-hmm. you're like, have you never fucking watched the show? Even yeah. though even though I, I know it's a combination of fucking more... I mean, at this point, only fucking morons would go on The Apprentice. Yeah, it's a dying But it's TV a combination show. of that and production making them do things. But when... Yeah. It was the same on Bamazuki, and I can't imagine that production actually. <laughs> well, they weren't. They weren't actually pulling that many strings. It was a kids show, and it makes me like think like, did you not? Do you not actually watch the fucking show? You find yourself like watching two teams of children against each other, and like get like shouting at yeah. them. It's like it turns you into a monster watching Bamazuki. Yeah, we does like I'm it, laughing remember, at them. It's terrible. I remember watching it with you. And we spent quite a lot of time watching it one morning yeah. last year. And we were we were shouting at our TV about something that happened, you know, 15 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, let's get to um, the main reason that I wanted to do this Jake episode. Humphreys. No, not um. actually not Jake Humphreys. I've got a section on him. But um, my guy. No, because we're still <laughs> on um the names. I've not. Okay. So when I watched this episode, um, at my friend's house, surrounded by friends, um, there was a team called. <laughs> I just smiled, and I, I my mouth made a noise. I don't know if the mic picked it. I up. didn't hear it. I didn't hear it. What were they called? The Technot Twins. They were called the Technot Twins. Because they were brothers and they weren't they twins. They weren't twins. Um, and their whole comedy skit was like the fact that people mistake them for evil twins and they're not. We are the Technot twins. Everyone thinks we are twins, but we are not. I am David. This is John. The thing about twins is we have a very special relationship. They can understand each other on a deeper level. They They can can be two, acting as one. You see, everything in nature has its own two sides. One leg on one side of the body is mirrored mirrored on the other side. side. Some people think Think that that we we are are twins, twins, but but we are are not. (laughs) That was their acting. Yeah. Um, And I remember when they introduced them, they did this weird... (laughs) This, I, can't, I, can't, I can't believe that this is the thing that I get animated about. <laughs> they do this like split screen thing. Yeah, on they their do. Face, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. the shittiest split screening <laughs> that they've ever done. Like, they weren't planning on doing it. And someone in the editing department, someone said, Oh, why don't you just like split screen their faces together to yeah. see if they look similar? They don't. They, I mean, they do, but the, when, when you put their faces next to each other, it doesn't stitch together the same face suddenly, especially when you're doing it on such like low fucking... Qu- and for a show that's all about new technology. Yeah, it's, it's, it's dreadful. It could have... Yeah. <laughs> but it is very, uh, no, very for the funny. For the, t- the technology they used for the time... Well, I'll get onto it when I'm talking about how the show got made, yeah. but yeah. But this team, the Technot Twins, Christ almighty, I've been laughing about this ever since that morning in they Leeds. have spouse don't they no they're not spouse oh. they're <laughs> <laughs> fucking <hell. laughs> they're zooks are called <laughs> cleed oh yeah <laughs> cleed c l double e d you say the next one <laughs> clamby <laughs> Cleed, clambied. <laughs> Cleedift. <laughs> and octo legs. Cleed, clambied, cleedith. Octo legs. I just need to know why these are eight year old boys. Guys, please get in touch. Please, I need to know why you called them clean and clean. <laughs> again. I was on the coach from Leeds to London. I was like, clean and clambied. <laughs> and I'm crying 
thinking about it again now because you, they were eight years old. They were two eight-year-old boys, these brothers, who went on this show, learned this really complicated technology that I wouldn't be able to handle now. And they went on this TV show with their zooks that they made and they called them Cleed and Clambeed. <laughs> I don't even. I googled what these words mean to get to try and get any context, but they they're not words. They don't refer to anything. You can't you can't find anything. <laughs> anyway, that's the Techno Twins. Have you ever heard the sound of a rubber ball breaking a window? Ah uh ah. -uh. Would you like to? Um, this is something I want to read from the back of the little inside cover bit. Get the official Lady Town ringtones and video clips for your mobile no. now. <laughs> remember what? Remember when you used to have ads on the telly, which yeah. was like download it with like O three for likes yeah, yeah, by yeah. Ellie Goldie. Yeah. <laughs> Follow the instructions below. Text Lazy Town, then a space, and then the item code for the tone that you want to. Do you reckon if we did it now, it would work? That's what I'm thinking. What's the Shall number? we? What's the number? didn't get delivered <laughs> <laughs> oh no oh you can also get video clips number has clearly been deactivated <laughs> free promote promotional clip so an advert basically you can download an advert for lazy town onto your phone or wallpapers so there's a sporticus wallpaper a stephanie wallpaper and a robbie wallpaper lovely yeah i'll just go onto the internet and download a photo <laughs> just take a screenshot take a screenshot the yeah. world we live in <laughs> Remember when life used to be difficult? Oh, that's so sad. And now it's difficult in a different way. <laughs> Do you know what? When I was at my eyelash appointment, she told me I couldn't cry. And I said, <laughs> I said, oh, I don't know about that because the price of butter is making me very upset. <laughs> but at least you can just screenshot whatever Stephanie poster you want. Yeah, at least. At least. <laughs> at least we've got that. At least we've that got that us. else. <laughs> Here is a review I found interesting of the Lazy Town CD. I'm not going to read all of it because it's really long, but it's it's much the same all the way through. This is a great CD from a great show. Specifically, the sonic textures in the music production itself are second to none. <laughs> Did you leave this review? <laughs> no. Very interesting use of sound layering and imagin imaginative spatial ambiences. <laughs> The upbeat techno songs like 20 Times Time, Teamwork and Always Away stand out as best overall. Well worth, well worthy lengthening into a dance floor mix for sure. <laughs> However, one of the absolute best Lazy Town songs from the show didn't make it onto the CD, thus my four star rating instead of five. Review it, by Elsie's it, dad. <laughs> <laughs> you kissed Scott Taylor! Yes. Under the mistletoe. He said we're unlike any girl he's ever met. What freakazoid planet are you on? Well, I was flattered. It wasn't even mistletoe. The cheeky monkey. You have ruined everything! Could you hurry up in there? We'll finish this at home. Okay. No way! People can't see us leaving a toilet cubicle together. On a scale of one to ten, just how good a kiss was it? Seven? An eight? <gasps> Maybe even a nine. I'm sorry, Mr. Johnson. You're weirding me out. We were watching it last night and Jasmine said, <laughs> when Sophie came on, Jasmine said, if she was my wife, I would protect her so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I have no memory of saying this. But it sounds like something I would say. <laughs> yeah. she, uh, it was literally last night, but yeah. I guess we, didn't, we weren't in uh, possession of all our faculties. <sighs> Do I ever have all of mine? <laughs> So Sophie has this, like, I don't know if Ginger Sophie has this, but I know that Blonde Sophie has this because she wore it a couple of times. Um, and I like it when they repeat outfits in mm. TV shows. I find it really annoying in TV shows where the characters always have, like, a different coat yeah. or whatever. It's like, I think Buffy is one of the best things in the whole entire world, but, like, she doesn't repeat an, an episode. Mm. Sorry, she doesn't repeat an outfit for about 300 episodes. Yeah. And it's just, like... No, I like to see it and be like, oh, 
Yeah. There it is. Speaking of clothes, sorry, can we just talk about Mel's wardrobe? Because Mel represents the best of um, late 90s, early noughties fashion. All her outfits oh. are so good. And then, of course, really Josh represents the worst. It re- yeah, honestly, he's got like this weird spiked up hair. Yeah, he's, oh, like, no, all the boys in my class at school had, you know, that gelled spiky hair yeah, yeah, and like yeah. really baggy shirts and really baggy trousers. Very but, Guy Fieri. Yeah. Uh, but Mel, oh, Mel just has the coolest wardrobe. It's kind of like fashion that has come back, but yeah. it's also it's so extreme. And her hair is like some of it you couldn't actually do today. It's like <laughs> lots of uh, bordering on is that okay sort of braids. Yeah, they're like little braids and the like knots. I feel like people would not do today, but it was quite common in the nineties. I want to say I'm thinking of like yeah. Jackie Lynn Wilson book illustrations as well. Oh my god, yeah. While I remember, I just really want to draw everyone's attention to when Tony Gardner, aka Brian, went viral on Twitter because he was filmed at Glastonbury dancing to King Princess. (laughs) And, oh my God, this man, he's wearing like a neon pink leopard skin blazer and he is having the time of his life, just completely unselfconscious. And... Turns out, um, like, lots of people were underneath the tweet, like, replying things like, oh, that's my childhood, what a legend. And other people were saying, yeah, this happens every year. Everyone (laughs) always runs into him at festivals, always pinged off his nut. (laughs) I love him. (laughs) I would love, Tony Gardner, if you're listening to this, I would love to get pinged off my nut at a festival with you. The Voice chooses a new saboteur on each floor. You are the saboteur. And she talks to them secretly using the Whisper Clip, a cunning little device that goes right inside their noise hole, which means that she can be murmuring helpful, stinky little tips to them without the others hearing. If the team succeed, the saboteur will be trapped on that floor. If the team fail, it could be any one of them. In the end, only one will escape. The rest will be trapped. (laughs) I told Megan Laura, what, two days ago? Yesterday? One day ago? That he voices an animated character, an animated animal. And I told them, what what clues did I give you? She said it was a family show. Um, I didn't say it was a family show. You did. Yeah, no, you, I didn't. Know, no, you, no, I didn't. Elsie. I, no, I didn't. You can edit this out, but you did. No, I didn't. Because me and Laura have been trying to think. No, you've invented that. What I said was, it is neither for adults or children, it's for both. No, because I, I yeah, specifically yeah. asked you, I was like, is it actually for kids? And you went, no, it's like a family show. I have no idea what this is. And it's starting to annoy me. <laughs> So I said, it's neither for adults or children. I want to look at his face. I said, it's been going since the late noughties. So Laura was in the country at that time. And it's not really for kids. It's not really for adults. It's sort of just both. I have no clue. Oh, shall I tell you? Well, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, because I'm not going to know by myself, am I? It's the meerkats. The meerkats? What? the compare the meerkat.com oh, oh my gosh, gosh. Yeah. okay <laughs> that is not what, okay because it's an animal oh he plays both by the way yeah it's wow. good it's good advert yeah. you should watch it so there you go i enjoy those ads <laughs> me too yeah. the guy's got range thank yeah, you yeah. for your services thank you for your service real british hero <laughs> playing where's, this where's this man's where's bafta where's this where's this bafta <laughs> He's probably won BAFTAs for things he's been involved in and not really as the main credit. Considering he's the meerkat, the um, caretaker, and he's also Captain Barnacles. You know so- what? <laughs> Simon Greenall is the nation's sweetheart. What? A- I love you, Simon. What a I'm treasure. Sorry that I'm shouting into the mic. No, it's fine. Oh, oh dear. Oh, just sit quietly, Jay, OK? Oh, I'll dab his head, Max. Oh, I was sick, Max. Yeah, I know, I heard you. Yeah. Over there. Yes, that's right. Oh, oh, don't it, worry. It just came out. Yes. I couldn't help it, Max. Oh, don't worry, Jakey. I can soon clear it up. It's all right. Hello? Hi, Dad. You OK? Hello? Yes, how are you, my darling? 
I'm I'm very good. Um, listen, Dad, we're talking about the tweenies. Oh yes, yes. Can can we hear your thoughts yeah. about the tweenies? Because I know that you're a particular fan. Um, well, yeah, this creepy old Max. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Max, uh, who was who was Judy? Yeah, that was Judy. Yes. Yeah, uh, Judy was holding I, it I all like, together. I like the way the puppets, when they did outside broadcasts, were totally different to the ones inside. Well, yeah, that's right, yeah. yeah. Tell us about... I was always astounded by the dog. Was it a person bent over? Oh, it actually was. It was It was one of the creator's daughters. Sorry, there's one more thing I want to talk about. What? Um, there's a worm at the bottom of the garden. Marvellous song, yes. When um, the Wiggle Wiggle, old Max doing the Wiggle Wiggle. <laughs> yeah, they had a dance. Like the hips. He still, Dad still sings it in the kitchen. He's, uh, loves it. Yes, arthritic hips and he's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good. Creepy, pervy Max. Time. Sorry, Did say, say that again. Say that again, Mum. The tweenies. Did did Jake lose the plot at one point? Did he go all like yeah. delinquent? He didn't go delinquent, so but he had a couple of tantrums because he was the youngest one. Uh... Can you mention, Elsie, how upsetting it was when someone um, kicked doodles? Oh, was, it... <laughs> was there an episode where someone kicked doodles? Yeah, and I think it was Milo who was saying, but who'd do that to it? You know, who'd do that? What sort of a so There was a social comment as well, you know. <laughs> yeah, there was always a social comment. It, was, it was an upsetting one, honestly. <laughs> I know, I'm not hey, Dad, wasn't, wasn't Izzles like your own personal scrappy do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no need for Izzles. <laughs> You'd have, you'd have shot her in between the eyes, would you? No, um, had it put down humanely. Right. Okay. Yeah, but that's expensive. Yeah. That's my parents. Our Raven warriors are always supervised and have their safety checked by experts. Please do not copy the challenges yourself. One of my very, very favourite things about this stupid fucking show is the after-game interviews. Like football. Like football. Yeah. Uh, why were we talking about it a few weeks ago? I can't remember why we were talking about it, but we were talking about how shit after-challenge... No, sorry, after-match interviews are. Yeah, um, because what are you supposed to say? they're all the same. All the same, yeah. I think we were... I don't know if this is why we were talking about it, but I remember getting a message from... Um, our medical consultant mm -hmm, mm -hmm. about this, saying that I should give my boyfriend after match interviews after he's played football. <laughs> yes, but the please. problem with that is that it would a require me to attend, <laughs> <laughs> which which I I used to attend fairly regularly, but when I still thought you were, have you stopped? When the football match is. Every week is the same, you know, it's always a, a different variation, but something like an eight goal difference. Yeah. Not yeah. to his team. So yeah. it, it's adorable. It's like watching the same <laughs> match over and over and over yeah. again and watching the same men get yeah. the same level of angry about the same thing over and over again, which is just football in itself. Yeah. And we, what were we saying about they're always like, yeah, they came out organised. Yeah, it's not yeah, the result we that we wanted. We let ourselves down, and obviously we are disappointed. Yeah, obviously. But next it just time. Builds, it builds back better as a team. Yeah, it's not the right. Yeah, uh, so that's what they're like all the time. Um, when it happens on Raven after each challenge, um, it's the same but worse because it's children with no media training recounting the exact events that you just saw but in slightly nervous regional accents. Well, that, Elsie, <laughs> yeah. that's that's why it's identical to football. I can't, yeah. <laughs> I Children can't get no enough. 
I can't get enough of it, Meg. No, me I'm obsessed neither. with them. I've shown you a few of them and they're so, they're so funny. funny. <laughs> if you're on Raven and this was you, I, I promise I'm not making fun of you. You you were what? 10 years old? No one remembers you from it. Don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Don't, you didn't even apart use your real Elsie, name. Yeah, apart would, from me. She would recognise you in the street. I remember everything. <laughs> Casey? Kirsty, Where are those useless twin Pop-Tarts? <sighs> Mother of Pink, I'll just have to check myself in. I just know I'm going to meet Mr. Right. <gasps> ah! Mr. Wrong! Byron Power. Badine Maxwell. <laughs> the ill feeling is absolutely positively mutual. <sighs> so, in this episode, what I want to do... <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I'm going to say? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I'm going to... So each of the dolls have, like, names, but they yes. also have nicknames. Yes, they like, do. they call each other different things. So Sasha is Bunny Boo. Chloe is Angel. Uh, Jade is Cool Cat. And Jasmine is... Yasmin. So Yasmin is Pretty Princess. <laughs> Bunny Boo is my least favourite. Yeah, Bonnie Boo makes it me means nothing. Well, it it means something because they've been. There is a brilliant video uh-huh. outlining the the nicknames for basically every brat. Oh, it's so doll. good! It's just a compilation of tears. Like we were crying on the floor, um, and I've actually got the list with me. Oh, fantastic! Um, so I'm going to read some of those. Okay. So I'm literally just reading from the Wikipedia article um, mm. that outlines that lists all of the brats. Oh, there's something for everyone, isn't there? What, on the, the internet. Oh, no. oh just on the internet. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I suppose there is. Um, so yeah, we've got the main characters, <laughs> the secondary characters. Uh, um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna skip to the ones I like the best. Megan. Hey, my name is Megan. My friends call me Funk. <laughs> uh, what, what do they call her? My friends call me Funky Fashion Monkey. Funky. Because even... Hang on, wait, stop. <laughs> now, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, we've not. We've got so much to get through. We've not got time. Okay, fair. Um, because even when I just hang, I still <laughs> look good. When I just. Hang. When she's just hanging out, yeah. Funky Fashion Monkey. Yep. Hey, my name is Dana. My friends call me Sugar Shoes because when I step out, I do it sweet. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Sugar Shoes. Dana, you got to give it to her. This is our... Sweet feet. <laughs> <laughs> this is our favourite one. Right. Hi. No, I'm just remembered which one you're going to do. Hi, my name is Fiana. My friends call me Fragrance <laughs> because I'm s- as sweet as I smell. I'm as sweet as I I mean, as that's I smell. really like bottom of the barrel like we don't know what nice to say about her so let's just say that she smells nice fragrance fragrance i just <laughs> think i don't know what i think just call her but by I her also, name i also i wouldn't want to smell sweet that's no, that's besides, that's besides the, point. the point hi i'm felicia i love the glam felicia, life surely yeah felicia sorry yeah, i can't read okay. hi i'm felicia i love the glam life but i love the outdoors too her nickname is Glam Gecko. <laughs> is, is that is that it? Or... <laughs> yeah, that's. I mean, there's more of a description, but we've just we've got we've got to we've, we're going to speed through these because Arthur, yeah, this is are, come on, oh, let's so just, just keep watch it rolling. The video. Oh, oh it's so God, good. I'm going to link it in the show notes. Do. I'm going to. Um, we've not even got to the boys' nicknames yet. <laughs> no, <laughs> we'll we talk haven't. about the brats' boys. We've not even got onto the brats' boys oh, yet. Wow. Wow. Hi, I'm Katia. I think the real world is super interesting. <laughs> I'd, <laughs> I'd rather watch a documentary than a film. Mm-mm. She's not like other girls. No. And I love to read newspapers so I know what's going on. <laughs> what's going on, Katia? Her, her nickname is Flirty Turtle. <laughs> Now, based on what we've just heard, <laughs> what the oh, fuck is <laughs> Vanessa, uh, spelt with an I instead of an E, so V-I-N, V-I- Vanessa. Yeah, Vanessa. my friends call me Social Butterfly because I'm always out and about with my besties. It's like these aren't nicknames. That's just a. It's thing. just a. It, so, it's... But, but Social Butterfly is already a thing. Yeah, like people have heard of it. No one's heard of a flirty turtle. Yeah, every yeah no fragrance one's heard of sugar as well. Shoes. Yeah, Fra- well, people have heard of fragrance, yeah. but not as a nickname. Her, hang on, her first nickname is oh, she's got a few. Her oh. first nickname is Styling Sheep. She's... Oh my god, Elsie, yeah. I'm so tired. I don't, I don't know why. It's 
Oh, the Sharadon, her nickname is Sparkling Sheep. Too so that's uh, too similar, they, really. Like, follow the but, crowd. What, I don't this? know. I don't know. Arthur. Uh, oh, Adrienne. Uh, they call her Glam Lamb. Oh my god, they're uh, so they sheep. Sheep. <laughs> sheep. <laughs> <laughs> Who Woolly. wrote these? Well, I just... <sighs> Uh, hi, my name is Kiara. My twin calls me Spunky because I'm always causing trouble. My t- <coughs> me, your twin calls you. Oh, there's another Kiara, so that's lazy writing. Yeah, um, spelled exactly the same. Spelled exactly the same. Not with a C or a K. Okay. No, just the same. My right. friends call me Snaps because I'm smart as a whip. Yeah, fine. Okay, <laughs> sure. Oh, Daphne, she's called Miss Bliss. I like that one. <laughs> yeah. I like Miss Bliss. Okay, fine. Yeah. Fine. But anyway, you know, it, oh, oh, Dresden. Poor Dresden is called Miss Pris. <laughs> Miss Pris. <laughs> that was a mistake. Miss... Oh, have a wash instead. Oh, I don't want to share a bath with Zippy and George. <laughs> but, but, but it's fun in the bath, Bungle. Come on. Yes, come on, Bungle. Get into this bath. Please do not remove my towel, Geoffrey. I don't want to splash about in the bath with anyone else. Of the three of us, mm. who's George, who's Zippy, and who's Bungle? Oh, Your Zippy. Oh, God. Fuck off. Your Fuck Zippy. off! <laughs> no. Yes, you're Zippy, uh, Laura's Bungle, and I'm George. And I think... <laughs> You're so lucky that I'm not... You're, you're sitting in equipment, or and that wine would have been... Hey, like, I think... better than mine. I don't agree. I basically... All of us would only have been happy with George. George. (laughs) I think this is obvious, to be honest. (laughs) I don't want to be zippy. I don't want to be bungle. Meg, you you know that you are. Would you rather rather be bungle? No. And you've got the most marketable face. You're on the most fridge magnets. Does she have the most most marketable face? face? No, I'm saying that you're... I'm assigning you the character that sells the most merch. Oh, so you're saying I don't have a marketable face? <laughs> well, no, I think you're pretty. But I guess that's not the question, is it? Laura? Do I think you have a marketable face? Yeah. I think you have very... <laughs> currently desirable lip shape that would lend well to makeup campaigns. Oh, that's true about Meg, actually. Yeah. <laughs> say what about my nose? Say oh, what you like about... Little, you have cute little Say nose. what you like about Meg. She's got nice lips. <laughs> say what you like about Meg, but she's got a currently desirable lip shape. Yeah. <laughs> Do well in makeup marketing yeah, campaign. Yeah, yeah. Now for the C, it's probably Caribbean Island, so slop on a nice Caribbean blue. And you could even mix in some other blues, streak some other blues in there to give it a good water effect. Now see this shimmering surf effect. I have to admit, I'm a cheat. To get to get that, I use some of this stuff, just ordinary kitchen cling film. While we're on the topic of big art attacks, I do have a little list well not a little list i have a list of every big art attack that there has been okay and the material that he used how many episodes of this were there over this one of 17 years Oof. um i don't know but there was about eight vhs specials that's not, not the that's question the you asked yeah question. sorry <laughs> a lot there was a lot about no 303 or of, at least of his era there was i've that many. just been comparing every runtime of every show that we've done to the tweeny <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> because that had fucking lows in it, like 280 or something oh sure over yeah, the yeah, course yeah. of what like four years <laughs> yeah so many episodes yeah. come outside shockingly only had 40 episodes incredible that's insane it felt, to me felt like more <laughs> yeah it did it felt yeah. like more so here we go the first one that he ever did was a dog made out of loo paper And I would never choose to say loo paper. I would say toilet paper or loo roll. But this article has said loo paper. So that's what I'm saying. I don't like it, but it's what we've got. Okay. Um, He made Batman out of bin liners. I think that's quite appropriate. Okay. He made a, a tiger's face out of brown rice. Okay. Um, and he I made... don't like brown rice, don't rate it. No, well, it's, it takes a long time to cook. Elsie's been going through this um, phase of um, spelt pasta and it's fucking disgusting. I think it's nice. Um, rhino out of rhino manure, which like, if you did to a human, would be like really dark, I think. What, human out of human manure? Yeah. And really just offensive. Resourceful. Yeah. Um, he made the queen out of £250,000 in banknotes. And a zebra out of salt. Okay. And a spider 
out of hair. Uh. Where is he getting? <laughs> Neil, where are you sourcing this hair? <laughs> Do you think it's his own hair or like the no. hair of a relative? Because I wouldn't want to make, I wouldn't want to touch someone else's the hair of pile relative. of hair. Well, it might it might not have been real hair? It might have been synthetic hair. But I don't, I don't like that. Um, so in series four, episode one, he made Neil's shopping out of Neil's own shopping. Fuck off. That, yeah, I don't know. What else? Cow out of milk bottles. That's really cute, I think. At least it wasn't cow out of cow shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's been done before, so... <laughs> but with... where are you getting that much it, rhino it, shit? It just, the whole series is just rhino out of rhino <laughs> shit. Cat out of cat yeah. shit. <laughs> cat out of rhino shit. Horse out of rhino <laughs> shit. Bear out of rhino shit. Train out of rhino shit. <laughs> Just starting to think that Neil's got a rhino kite out of <laughs> rhino shit. <laughs> oh, this I like this one. Neil self portrait out of art attack jumpers. Neil self portrait out of rhino shit. <laughs> Something happened here five hundred years ago, and if it hadn't happened, there might never have been any pencils. The more I think about it, the more I think that come outside would be. Um, such a good format for a show for like you know adult babies you know like you know like the, obviously like the listeners of this show you know, but, uh, you know do explain <laughs> like you, you know you know people who were you know adjusting to adult life and oh. but, but it's more like you Auntie know, Mabel but taxes aunt, yeah Auntie okay. Mabel right. has alcohol poisoning or like <laughs> Auntie Mabel gets a fixed penalty notice yes <laughs> Auntie Mabel contests a parking fine Auntie Mabel at the job centre <laughs> contests a parking fine oh my god <laughs> Auntie Mabel gets her £60 off of a meeting bill. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Mabel deals with the cost of living crisis. <laughs> Auntie Mabel has a hangover. <laughs> Auntie Mabel at the work Christmas do. <laughs> I think it would be really good. Yeah, it Maybe would. Maybe we should do yeah. this. Yeah, shall we write it? They're like, you know, like the Ladybird books, but like the grown-up yeah, ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Auntie Mabel votes for Brexit. But Deals still... with the consequences. <laughs> <laughs> but still like um, the exact same format. So like yeah. same very calming narration. She still sings a song. <laughs> <laughs> she still reads from a storybook. <laughs> The dog's there as well. <laughs> Auntie Mabel puts her parents in a nursing home. <laughs> Auntie Mabel deals with a passive-aggressive email Auntie from her Ma- boss. Auntie Mabel in Universal Credit. <laughs> Auntie Mabel gets Twitter cancelled. <laughs> deals with the fallout of a badly phrased tweet. Auntie Mabel at the food bank. Oh, that's, that is such. Sorry. No, that is like an incredibly sad image. She's an old lady. Well, she's actually not that old. Income outside. Like, she's what, 60? It's so sad, though. Auntie Mabel tweets a homophobic slur. Auntie Mabel is a turf. No, 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 no. That is not. She isn't. Let me just. You, you know it's a joke. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Auntie Mabel at the betting shop. <laughs> Auntie Mabel is dependent on painkillers. <laughs> Auntie Mabel's descent into alcoholism. <laughs> Auntie Mabel can't get her printer to work. Auntie Mabel in the male prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> Auntie Mabel learns how to make her girlfriend squirm. <laughs> Mabel at the immigration office. <laughs> See, these are like this real life she's, adult problems. She's crying. I mean, I've never been at the immigration office. And Auntie Mabel gets catfished. 
Auntie Mabel hits a pedestrian and gets her license revoked. <laughs> Auntie Mabel won't take a vaccine. <laughs> Auntie Mabel didn't see the speed camera. <laughs> Auntie Mabel is a free thinker, <laughs> debating in the free marketplace of ideas. <laughs> Auntie Mabel <laughs> joins QAnon. <laughs> oh, Auntie so Mabel many. feeds her dog an all-vegan diet and kills it. <laughs> Auntie Mabel has gout. <laughs> I hope you've all enjoyed what I consider to be my favourite bits over the last year. I don't know if I'd consider them to be my favourite bits. Yeah, because you didn't ask me. We've got to listen ourselves and consider if we agree. Okay, well, we'll do that. I'm I'm interested to listen back to what just came before these words. What just came before these words was a load of piss, shit and vomit. (laughs) It's just a load of... (laughs) You know they say if you... um, they say everyone has a poo friend, and if you don't have a poo friend, then you are the poo friend. Well, we are now everyone's poo friend. Or uh, sick friend. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I don't think every friend group has a sick friend. So well, I think I'm special. And if you want friend. to know what on earth we're talking about right now, <laughs> here is an unheard bonus bit of content. Enjoy. I I don't put... Like, I try not to put stock in New Year's because, like, when you do, it's just going to be disappointing. Uh, so I've, I've in the past, gone out a bunch for New Year's. Don't do that anymore. Um, if not just because fucking everyone else is out too. <laughs> um, yeah. So we were, we were at my brother's um, in Canterbury, intentionally, like, not doing anything. Um, I mean, we did that <clears throat> last year. We The two of us yeah. watched Paddington. And sat on the balcony. It was great. Yeah, it was lovely. Uh, like that kind of thing whereas this was even less planning than that and my brother's house has two living rooms so i was for the most of new year's sat in the other room crocheting (laughs) and then close to midnight went and put the fireworks on the telly and then we watched saltburn which is a interesting experience with family members in the room um Elsie hasn't seen it, so I will not say anything else. But then I know I know what I need to know from Twitter. I know why it was a difficult watch. It wasn't difficult. It was entertaining as fuck, but it was awkward. Second, the second of January, I woke up at four o'clock in the morning with some of the worst pain. Oh, all of my family have been sick this Christmas. Like dominoes, all of us going one by one. And then I got sick (laughs) second to last. My brother was kind of like Saltburn, hey. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> um, and i woke up four o'clock in the morning uh, on the second of january with some of the worst pain i've ever had in my stomach in my life and then a couple hours later sat there puked caught it with my hand yeah that's a skill you have we've watched yeah. you laura's catch quite your a own sicky girl <laughs> I, if I you have take experience. anything away from this episode is that laura is sick quite a lot <laughs> <laughs> i i once in we were in like me and sean were traversing victoria station which is my brother sean which is huge right and i was like oh, i'm good i'm gonna i'm gonna throw up and sean went you can't hear and i went i know i looked up and went mm. and I, <laughs> I didn't. I wasn't sick. It really she looked to God. I really hurt my stomach, so I just like clamped down on it. It really hurt. That's but, a skill. Yeah, it's. I don't like exercising it. But anyway, my, and then, sorry. Finish your yeah. story, and then I'll. So like initial puke, and then ran to the bathroom, and then I vomited more than I have ev- sober ever in my life, and it was like just just I think like two and a half days of food. It was horrendous. Arthur and Betty went. My brother and sister went through a phase when we were kids. Puking. Whenever, <laughs> no, whenever I would cough, they would as a joke run and put their cupped hands underneath my chin. <laughs> Did this come from anything? No, uh, no. If I we was should just start like, doing that tomorrow. No, if I can't, I'd be worried. I actually would catch oh, sick. Should we tell? <laughs> should, it's not, should we it's tell not the when Brixton I cough? Story. It's not when I cough. It's when I burp. <laughs> should we tell the Brixton story? Yeah, one I think time we, have. we were in a. Cl- yeah, I don't know if we had, but we were once in a club in Brixton, and Laura, uh, she did a tequila shot. And then, yes, you did. You shake your head every time I tell the story. It's not be- okay. Even if I did a tequila shot, no, it wasn't because of the it tequila wasn't because shot. of the tequila. But she, I mean, she's I'm done this strong, sober. Do she just done a tequila shot and then immediately burped, burp, vomited into her own hands. And the two of us, because it's the kind of club where they're on alert for anyone that might be behaving worse strangely. for wear. Yes, the two of us 
jumped to action. We were like, Elsie, go get tissues. Meg, go get water. Because we didn't want anyone to see that Laura had been sick. And if anyone had questioned Laura, we would have been like, no, she this does this normal. all the time. She, she, that was like the first alcohol she'd had that evening as yeah. well. So it wasn't it wasn't like she was vomiting out of, no, out she of just being does this. drunk. It, That's so, just what she does. If I've, if I've, if, so I'd also had like a, a cider, like a recodling or something. And so it's like my stomach was quite full of liquid. This has also happened once when I had a big bowl of soup. And she she was in <laughs> in bed where in a white Suit, in white basically. sheets and white clothes and burps, having had burps, some soup, soup all over herself. <laughs> all into my lap and it, it's just if my stomach is quite full of liquid it's just like there it'll just happen yeah you can't help it the thing is everyone does sicky burps sometimes but <laughs> but laura burp vomit it's like it's different it's not like doing a sicky burp it's burping and sick coming out <laughs> most people just swallow it back down not laura she catches it <laughs> Well, so a lot of, it's just loads. A, a, a lot of the time I do swallow it back down, but sometimes it really catches me by surprise. Are you saying it happens a lot more yeah. often than you? <laughs> oh, yeah. God. She's a sicky girl. I, I was so hoping this year to maybe not vomit. And you've already... <laughs> Six days like, into the year, you've already been like thirty, sick. Like maybe something like 36 hours into like the I year. Like I wasn't sick at all last year. I don't actually remember the last time I was sick. My sister Betty has not been sick since she was about four years old. And I asked, I said to her a few weeks ago, I I know, (laughs) I know you can't. (laughs) I said to her, are you not scared? And she said, Elsie, I am shit scared. I've forgotten what it feels like and I never want to go through it. She has spent about 16 years vomit free. I have very vivid memories of when I was younger and being sick and like my dad just like rubbing my back going, just let it out. Just, just let it out. <laughs> I've, I'm quite scared of being sick because I really don't like it. I th- um, the last time I remember being sick was um, 2020 Burns Night. And this is the only, <laughs> own, this is the second time in my life I've ever vomited f- alcohol induced. And I, yeah, I'd had like, I wish. I'd had vegetarian haggis, neeps and tatties. And then like every alcohol under the sun, like we'd gone to the pub and then that pub closed. We went to another pub and like it was like two o'clock in the morning and I was doing like fireball shots with my oh, mum and Christ. like jalapeno sambuca shots oh, with my dad. Come on. And I'd had also wine beer whiskey and then i was doing like sambuca shots with my dad to me that's just like acid reflux we, central we started walking home and my mum um this is why we take Rennie to my mum tried yeah. to go in the park to go on the swings and <laughs> there were pete there were kids like youths <laughs> in the park <laughs> as, as if in 2020 i wasn't a, i'm still a youth i'm still a youth um so they were on Teenagers. the swings like smoking in the park and my mum started shouting at them we had to like <gasps> drag her away, no. drag her away from the entrance to the park because she just because she wanted to go on the swings <laughs> And, wow yeah yeah and the next day the next day i woke up and i was like F-, you know when you're fine to begin with and mm, then yeah it gets worse and worse and worse and it's like i think i i wasn't even sick in the toilet to begin with i was like at the toilet and then i was there for ages not being sick and i got up and then i was like no i am gonna be sick i got down again and then got up and then went into my room and i think that the up and downness. Yeah. I had to empty a bag in my room and I was sick straight into the bag. <laughs> See, I've, I've got a really healthy relationship with vomit, I think. So I've, I have a pretty healthy... It's Elsie just, is It's a of, common friend. Elsie so. will make herself sick. Oh, yeah. So... I can't imagine being... I've not been... I've not been sick from illness for a very, very... Like, years and years. But... Me neither. Um, oh, apart from one morning where, for some reason, I, I wasn't drunk. I just... I just woke up and felt really sick. I was sick. I think it was stress. I felt yeah. terrible that morning. And then in the afternoon, I had a nap. I was fine. I was just very stressed. Is that but why like, we lived here? No, I was at uni at that so time. So still ages ago. Oh, ages ago. And the only time I'm sick now is if I've drunk too much. And I know that I have. And I need to get all the poison out my body. Yeah, yeah. Fingers down the throat. Yeah. I feel so much better afterwards. I'm My brother and sister are terrified of vomit. I've 
had to force myself to not be because I like to drink. I can't be. It's too much of a common visitor. Yeah, no, we can't be, right? Our, our friend Alicia, friend of the pod, says that you're either a sick or a shit family. Yes! Yes, it's like yes. you feel... We're both. Yeah, well, I'm not. The Con- <laughs> I think the Connellys are an exception. Yeah, well, so explain what I, this means. So it's like, if you feel sick or if you've got... I don't, don't even know if it's necessarily sick or just like an upset tummy... Are you a if family you feel that says, it off. go do a poo or go make yourself yeah. sick? And I will always go. I hate I hate being sick. I love doing a poo. So <laughs> See, this is the wild thing. It's like, I get a nervous tummy and I need to poo, but my dad gets yeah, a nervous and tummy he and he vomits. vomits. But yeah, I, I am the kind of person who like, I, I did a languages degree as well, so I would have oral exams and I would be I would be on so nervous I'd be on liquid shits that morning. Like very, very horrible experience. I mean a friend of mine, George, hi if you're listening, I hope you're having a great time travelling. They once said to me, Who's your poo friend? What what they meant oh, by George that who was stayed here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What oh. they meant by that was who is your friend that talks about poo the most? And I instantly knew who it was, and it's Meg. See, the thing is, before I met Meg, I didn't. I actually didn't have one. None of my friends. Do you know why neither I'm... did I. I know, and I, I love this. Do you know why I'm the poo friend, though? Yeah, I do know yeah. why. So when you started living with... Well, you tell the story. Well, when I was at uni, we had we were in halls, and we had, like, a room and an ensuite each. And I was really dreading living with strangers, I guess weren't strangers by the time we lived together, but having to share bathrooms with them because I was still like when we were at college, I wouldn't, I didn't like pissing at college, let alone going for a shit at college. Like I think, I think <laughs> Meg I, had a favorite toilet. I, this is a story for another did, time. Did you but... not? No, not really. Oh. I I think I pooed twice at college, and they were both emergencies. And <laughs> so, like during college, like during uni, sorry, I was like, I'm gonna have to get over this. And my way of getting over it was just being very open about I, doing a poo. I, was I like, admire oh, you. I love it. And, I, and I, I now do not give it. I, I ad- do not give a shit, as they say. <laughs> I admire you so much for that. It was so, like, so much gumption to just be like, you know what? Fuck it. You know it. what? I'm not going to be embarrassed because about it, this. Elsie makes us play music if yeah. she's on the tour. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't want anyone to hear. Like, I'll talk about it. I, but don't, I, don't, I f- firmly don't care if I, you poo. I have, I, from a very, this is such a weird tidbit about me but you you both know this to be true i have always for my entire life pissed really loudly she has got a racehorse piss. piss strength of a racehorse like i think it means it's a very thing. brazen way i don't even it's not even necessarily sometimes it's powerful even when it's not it's really loud I and just, i do I not hear, understand I can hear it. I can, no, no, it's not even always like that but it's always audible i can it's hear it from audible. my room and my room is the furthest from the toilet so like <laughs> from a very i used to be extremely conscious of this like extremely conscious of this. like everyone wheeze well get over it. i'm not I listening used, out for your wing i used to when i was younger <laughs> this is this is really bad. I used to sit on the toilet with my legs really tightly together. But if you do that and you wee, it goes here. It goes, it goes, try it <laughs> next time. I don't want to. <laughs> Can we tell the story about what you said about the person you know who doesn't wee in a straight line? Um, <laughs> yeah. It's the funniest thing that Meg has ever said. Yeah, so uh, I know someone who has a tendency to piss outside and he, his... His stream stream, jet yes. off in a way that would create a rainbow in summer. Yes. She said she was trying ah, to explain ah, it to us and she like said Like a garden sprinkler. Put it this way. If he weed outside and he was trying she was trying to explain the stream to us, and she said if he was outside in summer and he pissed, there'd be a rainbow. And we got it. Yeah. I I just vomit story again. I just <laughs> the the like the most one of my most visual memories is like i must have been drinking wine i don't actually remember the night uh cabbies in singapore tend to be like quite prepared because they pick up a lot of drunk people right so they have some of them have vomit bags in the back and this particular one really lovely guy i don't think he's listening or will remember but i remember you uh he and (laughs) (laughs) he had vomit bags and i remember puking into one it was red and I was so alarmed. Ooh. I was so, so alarmed because it was such a red colour. I mean, it was years ago, so I'm fine. But it was like me- memorable red. On the way back from my mom's birthday, I don't know what age she was, but I got very, very drunk. And on the we were on like a highway or a motorway um, and in Singapore. And we were like, you, ha- you have to pull over <laughs> like on just 
completely veer to the left and my dad was hanging onto the back of my skirt like the edge of my skirt as i leaned out the door as i leaned out the door puking all over the fucking motorway i get this from my mum for sure because i remember multiple occasions well, even though your dad is sick all the time as well Here, so i am i am a pukey <laughs> drunk a sicky family <laughs> i am a pukey drunk which is from my mum. so and all the other family is a poo family laura's family they're, is a sick family they're both they're okay. both right okay. so swear to god they're both um because my grandma will say go do a poo right my dad will say go be sick so it depends who you're talking to but uh so i have multiple memories of i was awake for some fucking reason very young us going to my dad driving to where my mum had gone out on a night out in like ascot and <laughs> Ooh, Ascot <laughs> from a village near Ascot, <laughs> not much less nice village. Anyway, uh, on the way home, she'd we'd have to pull out, pull over by these like gated properties, and she'd be vomiting on the street outside these gated properties, lowering the house prices. Yeah, I love the I, <laughs> I love the idea of someone coming out in the morning, just be like, someone's been sick on our gate. <laughs> oh yeah, my friend. Uh, well, our friend Jasmine, friend of the pod, who was on the My Parents Are Aliens episode. Um, the same weekend that we recorded that, she vomited just out there on the street, and it's a it's an expensive area, and I was proud that she did it. Yeah, I've never I've not been sick outside for a long time. I once last time I remember being sick outside, I vomited. I was feeling ill during school, and for some reason I don't remember why, but my mum couldn't get me. None of my grandparents could get me, so my dad had to my dad had to come get me, and he worked like forty five minutes away and couldn't leave till lunchtime so i was sat in the disabled toilets at school just over the toilet for two hours waiting for him and then he had a go at the receptionist because when he got there and he was like where's my daughter they didn't they couldn't yeah, find me which is ridiculous because i was in the disabled toilets like near the canteen i couldn't hear the tannoy system either and i wasn't sick that whole way and as soon as i got outside the school it, i remember it was snowing as well i was sick directly onto the pavement outside of school and i'd had do you remember brain liquors yeah. i'd had a brain liquor on my oh, way to school no. and my sick was blue i had a similar so i went to a friend's house to play when i was a child and my mum came to pick me up and her mum didn't know where we were. Oops. And my mum was fucking furious. Yeah. And yeah. when they found us, I we were both wearing swimming costumes and there were random men walking around the house. <gasps> anyway, we should wrap this up. I Let's wrap up the episode. I, I, I have one more story and I feel like you're going to cut out the vomit for a bonus episode. I feel like maybe, some of this is going to be bonus. So yes. no, I say leave it all in, just own it, We've guys. been doing this for Sorry, two hours. Okay. But okay. One, one more story. Okay. So my old best friend puking outside story my old best friend she was telling me about so she she'd gone out for a night i think they were drinking a lot of pims she was this was in edinburgh she was trying to go home not wimbledon no no uh, she was trying to she trying to get home and she had puked like a puddle around she was outside near a bus stop there were people out the bus stop she was across the street and had vomited and was basically in a puddle of her own vomit on a cobblestone mm. street in edinburgh the people at the bus stop yelling at her about being a junkie and being scum because they're all you taking up space an ambulance had to come and get her <gasps> and the, the emts the emts put really big gloves on because they thought she was on drugs it was right. just pims <laughs> <laughs> i mean that is a drug <laughs> yeah, they, she, they put like long gloves on and put her in like a cage inside the ambulance. Cage. They were like, what are you on? <laughs> the drunk tank. Pims. <laughs> I, I promise it's Pims. <laughs> and that is the energy that we're bringing into 2024. I want to reiterate, if you are still listening and if you have started listening in the last few weeks, genuinely thank you yeah, thank so you. much for supporting this podcast if you follow us on instagram tiktok just thank you and yeah. you know who you are lisa from twitter Hi. <laughs> oh lisa my bestie uh, we, we actually love you in this house we, yeah, like, we gather do. around your comments we talk about your twitter we love you i genuinely thought i would feel a bit more nervous because I, I i i mean i see most of the um, oh yeah, actually, I see a lot of the like likes and stuff roll in. I see people follow, and I'm like keeping a very close eye on it. So if you, if definitely if you're speaking to one of us on social media, it's probably me, or sometimes Elsie, never Laura. You never speak to Laura. I, like, but, um, I do want to just quickly tries. interject, like all props to these two for everything they do because I don't know how you guys come up with the ideas that you do. Because I'm sat there going, I need to help out. Oh. But I can't think of fucking anything. Um, but yeah, no, I haven't felt like that. And I've spoke about my own 
piss shit and vomit <laughs> yeah. for the last oh, yeah. 20 minutes. So thanks, guys. I know we meant... I know we meant... <laughs> <laughs> and i'm uh, fully aware that i was supposed to cook tonight but it's quarter to ten i know we mentioned it previously but the link is actually now there uh if you want to join we have a discord uh, you'll probably be speaking to me on discord so that's what you're after <laughs> um it's so there's a link to on our tiktok and our instagram now where the discord is there like I- we actually have a bigger listenership now and it's so it's just nice i just i it's thank you everyone we are today as of right this moment two thirds we have two thirds of the overall downloads that we had in december total so i th- we had a really good month in november and then up until mid-december i didn't think we were going to top it and then suddenly we were like we were getting like 50 downloads a day 60 downloads a day 70 downloads a day and now six days into december january sorry six days into january where we've almost topped everything yeah. we did in december and that's incredible and that's due to everybody that's engaged yeah, thank on you social media. so much and you know we don't do this just you know some people start a podcast because you know they just want to indulge themselves we're obviously, indulging obviously, <laughs> obviously you know we, you're we indulging en- me we yeah. enjoy doing it we enjoy chatting with each other but i'm so glad that we were right that people would enjoy this and we love making content for you you tell us that you enjoy it and that means the world to us yeah it yeah so we're not just you. we're not just shouting like, into the dark <laughs> keep sending us messages like keep engaging with stuff we like reading it please don't try and find us though that would be bad it can be <laughs> hard to like reply to everybody because there's a lot more comments than like i ever anticipated us getting but we read them all and we don't we do. sound, i don't like i want to sound like pewdiepie <laughs> <laughs> well there's we a lot we do read yeah. them all we do read them all we like, do read some them of them all. we like gather around and we're like oh look at this comment isn't this so sweet and we do appreciate everything <laughs> it's it genuinely took me two weeks to understand <laughs> there was a comment that was left yes and laura didn't understand it, it. was um m- what was it Meringue makes a sh- no Australians. Australians love to boo meringue, <laughs> and that yeah. took me two weeks and, uh, and, to uh, get. And it, you didn't even get it, Laura. I realised <laughs> the joke after two weeks because I, I messaged me like, like, "Oh, do they think I'm Australian? They may well think you're yeah. Australian, Laura, but it might just be a joke, and the yeah. joke is boomerang." <laughs> I'm not Australian. If you've made it to the end of this anniversary episode. <laughs> thank you for listening thank you for sticking with us for a year (laughs) Um, and to the early adopters god bless you yes patience of saints (laughs) shall we do the socials yeah all right off you go (laughs) instagram is at thoughts tv the o is a zero twitter is thoughts underscore underscore tv which one would you like me to do? Both of them, please. Well, what's both of them? I was going to do Discord and email. Yeah, both of them, Laura. Okay, That's cool. two. Just check them. Uh, the Discord is the Thoughts TV server. You should just be able to find us like that. If not, there's a link on Instagram. The email is thoughtstv2002 at gmail.com. Please email us. TikTok is Thoughts TV Pod. And we do have a coffee if you want to donate money to the pod. Um not the asking price, about- sorry uh, to interrupt you do you remember right <laughs> right at the beginning like a really early episode i said the price of a cup of coffee can buy both me and meg half a cup of coffee <laughs> well now the price of one coffee can buy all three of us a third a third of a cup coffee. Of coffee. <laughs> yeah not to ask for handouts but we do need them please give us handouts. is it is it pronounced <laughs> i thought it was pronounced ko-fi ko-fi coffee that makes the more thing sense is, yeah because it, um yeah but buy me a coffee is another yeah but it is coffee because they're the logo is a cup of coffee yeah okay no that makes a lot of sense i just didn't know (laughs) thanks for listening here's to another year